We are headed to the west. That's all we've got to go on. We're headed to the west. By, via a whirlpool. And we'll find a academy full of little girls. Okay, I kind of see I'm completely thrilled that we're going there. But that's all we've got to go on. Right, to the west. Oh, I can't look at the map in here. I can't. Right, let's get to the... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll actually just zoom. Magic. Scott, zoom. To the west. If we go the... If we go here... It's probably going to be on that island. I bet you it's on that small island just there. So if I go to the strand... And I'm hoping I can leave the strand and sail the boat. All aboard. School for little girls. It's a bit Savile that like. <laughs> Fucking Jimmy Savile would love it there. Maybe it's Jimmy Savile's um, hospital. I watched the Jimmy Savile documentary, right? He is a freaky motherfucker, am Well, he was. Oh, the story. There's, there's this story that one of the lasses tells you in the documentary. She's like, I got admitted to Jimmy Savile's hospital. And I was in the, the hospital room overlooking, like, the grass and fields and stuff. And it was, like, really nice. And she went, she saw fucking Jimmy Savile running around, like, going for a jog in his, in his bloody shell suit that he wears, tracksuit. And, like... It was like something out of a horror film. He was just jogging along. She was just watching out of her window. He turned and looked at her. Then started running straight for her. And she was like, I couldn't move because I was ill in the bed. I think she had a broken leg or something. And um, he ran straight for her while looking at her. And then climbed in her window. Then obviously touched her inappropriately. Like, But fucking hell, that guy was a freak. Right, where am I going? Jimmy Savile, eh? Here, I reckon it's here, you know. What the fuck are they? You see them things in the, in the water? Looks like we have to fight. Well, you're getting whopped. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, devastated. I'll get him to attack the sea slime. <laughs> Don't hide. Don't hide away from me. Oh, smashed its head right in. That's all you can do with this, just keep attacking. Oh my god, you legend! We out the... it, darlings. Oh darlings, we racking out the critical heat. And the level ups. Yeah, baby. You received Tingle. I do actually want to have a look at these skills. So Sylvando's got 14. Can we get that? Oh my god, we can get it. Get it, baby. Hustle Dance. Re restore 70 HP to everybody. That's going to come in so handy for, for staying alive. Especially since we're playing the game under leveled like beasts. And also, next one, when we get 20 points. We can get dual wielding. Oh, hold on. I got dual wielding. Did I get dual wielding for Eric already? Oh, I need two more points. Oh, sorry. No, I can get it. Oh, nice. Right, let's see how this works because he's the first person I've got dual wielding with. Um, Scott, what can I get? Great swords.
I do want that though. I want the attack power. But I do want to see what's in the middle there. What I could do is, next time we save, right, next time we save the game lads, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy that skill and see if the skill in the centre is any good. If it's shit, I'm just not going to bother and get that. Right, okay. Big V, what have you got? Fifty HP to a single ally. Right, I need one more point to get that. I'm probably never ever gonna use these anymore, so Yeah, she hadn't got enough. Aid claws. I like attack power. But that requires sixty and that's no good. MP absorption while wielding or critical hit chance. I think I'll probably go for the the MP absorption. Dodge chance. I'm gonna go for that. Might as well. Even though it's gonna be really minor. So I'll go down this way and get the critical hit chance, because critical hit chance is like pretty effective. There we go, we'll get that. So we'll get both health and MP from attacking, I think. Done. What are these things? Oh, that's the strand. Right. Is this island what we're looking for? Probably not. Insula? Oh, look at that beast! Let's, let's destroy it. This could possibly be really hard. Fuck you! Fuck you in the anus! They seem pretty friendly. What's it called? A jowler. And spiked hairs. Oh, I've seen the spiked hairs before. Jowler, baby. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But he has got massive health. I probably should have started killing the rabbits first, but... Oh my god, it's a beast. See ya. By the power of Grayskull! I've got that though, I could use that. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is... I'm just going to attack Jowla. Get out of it. Hey, I don't know what it is, but we're getting critical hits on everything now. What are you doing? Putting everyone to sleep, you little fuck. Aye, Sylvando's immune, man. Beast. Fuck you. Taste my flame. <laughs> oh, that was really effective. Game over. Oh, you, you bloody dodged it. See ya. 1000 experience. This island could be quite bountiful. For XP. There's a sparkly spot over here. That thing doesn't want to fight us, does it? 
Oh, it does, it does. It just has really short sight. Who lives here? Hello? Hello? My boy, this is many like it. Oh, this is the guy we were talking about. But mine, this one is. My best friend, my boy, is my life, blah, blah, blah. The master sends no word of one such as you, but perhaps you might like to participate. Should you wish to take part in the crossbow challenge, the master must you seek. Sail to Galopolis City. Oh, because we've met his mate before telling us about Galopolis. Oh, who's this guy? An adventurer, are you? It ain't often we get folks like you coming here. The island's a place for hermits, exiles, and other assorted outcasts. When I was younger, I got up to all sorts, pirating and bullshit. This ain't no place for a globe trotting traveller like you. I reckon it's time you were on your way. Can I not have a chicken leg? I can rest there if I want, though. Right, I'm also headed this way. I want to find out what's in the northwest because the door looks like it's unlocked. Not this one. That one down there. It seems to be a big beast garden. Oh, where does one find the key? Let's kill some poor creature in rage. I want to kill the pig first. Yeah. <laughs> I missed. I do need to get a better sword for Silvando. Oh, who's he bringing? A bloody octopus. More heal. Oh, look at that. 164 HP to a single ally, that's amazing. That's enough though. Dead. Oh, maybe not. The health on those things are unbelievable. That's it. Silvando gets you. Right, that's it, you little tinker. What's Pep gonna do? Scorch and sweep. Terrible. Oh, is that how you're playing the game, is it? Cracking out the heels. Too bad. Ain't gonna save you today. I've earned 25 grand, eh? Tell you what, we're going to do another possible two battles and that means I'm going to level up. These aren't that bad.
I love that two-handed sword, it's such a beast. Get him. Take him down. Ah! 80 damage. Damn. Yes, I'll fully heal him. Oosh. Oh, he's getting pepped up as he thinks he's the boy. Oh my god, he's gonna destroy him. You can't help with China, tell me it. Hey, Sylvander's all about the kill and blow, like. He's got the bloodthirst. Right, I'll kill that last one next to the boat and then we'll be on our way. Holy hell. Massive group. Right, we're gonna have to kill the fight. Just headbutt him. Blow away. See ya. Oh, what's he? He's gone wild with that spear, any? Oh, game over now, bitches. Oh, maybe not. Get rid of this hair. Nice. Yeah, let's just keep our health up. There's no point in risking it for a chocolate biscuit, yeah. They should kill him. Oh, it certainly did. Made him do a motherfucking backflip, son. Twenty eight, that's not very good at all. I'm on fire. Oh, I should have done a hot lick. Keep forgetting about that. Pull your socks up. Yeah. 
critical damage. Give us some Victory. Loot. That's it, Scott's leveled up. Yeah, baby. Big V leveled up. Is that enough for me? 14, what, what was I going for again? Oh, that there. I'm not going to get it yet, though. Ah, fuck with it. Now it is, I'm just going to get it. So I need 14 points. Ah, yeah, I'm just going to get this. I'd rather have attack power. That'll do me. Happy days. Big V? I'll go for that. Staff of Salvation. That appears. Oh, we've got the mad loot with for. Bunny tail. Great. Right, we're going to find this academy. But I don't know where it is. This is the first time in the game where the game's never actually held your hand or showed you where to go. Really, I need to find a whirlwind. Or a whirlpool. That's what the... The Queen said. Hmm. Oh, there, wait there, what's that? Ah, I've just noticed there's a pink icon on my map saying go there in that little cove and then head... That'll let me head down into there. Okay, so let's head east from here. Ah. Oh, what? Look at that thing! What the hell is that? Some angry bloody meerkat. An otter. It's a fucking otter. Otter shambles. It's an otter shambles? That's hilarious. That's got so much health, that thing. A fucking kabuki, you little shit. That's it. Take it to the face. Two damage. Oh, it's hiding. Oh, that's the trick. I cast that more often. Hey, that Zam is really powerful, like. <laughs> See ya.
He's learned peep, has he? Right, come on, all, all we've got to do is make it to that light. I can see progress! The pillar of light on the surface of the water. Play Lorelli's harp. And this is going to take us under the water and into the, the mainland. Is this the school? Champ Sauvage. Oh, there it is. The L'Académie de Notre Maître des Médiales. Médiales. Nom no. Phnom Penh. Alright then, this is a nice little area. I'm really intrigued that there's a town at the bottom called Nom no. But we're headed to the academy. I want to make some progress. Oh, I need to work on that guy. Where's that sparkly spot going? Right in front of us. Lemma grass. Yep, this is the right way. L'Academy di Not. Metra des Mediales. No idea if that's how I pronounce it, but that's what I'm rolling with, son. It's fucking Hogwarts. Actually is. This is hilarious. There's fucking Harry Potter. Neath the branches of the birches, daffodils sway and swing. Here among the graceful gardens, building young ladies sing. Budding young ladies sing. We stride across the wide wide world and hunt for mini medals, low and high. The mini medals, we've got plenty of them. But a heart live forever in La Carmi de Notre Mate for these mediales. Bish bash bosh. Très bien. A splendid rendition, girls. Now, to your lesson. May you have a maximally fruitful day on your journey to become miniature ladies par excellence. Zacre bleu. All together now. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Medaille. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, Mesdemoiselles. <laughs> Did anybody notice the pink thing carrying the massive club? It is not so often that we receive les visiteurs. It is a minimally common occurrence, in fact. Incroyable! 
I do not believe it. Young man, it must have been fate that brought you here. Destiny. La Providence. I sense a great power within you. A power of maximal significance. I read Santa Claus. Didn't get in there as a twist. There is much to discuss, but not out here, eh? Come to my office, and I will reveal all you need to know. It is nearby, a minimal distance. You will see. Guys, straight up skipping to his office. Why have we came here? I know there's a spot over here somewhere. That's fair. However, let's have a look down the well. I'm intrigued. You've got a guy on every well you see. Call me the well hunter. The well hunter! Royal soil. There's a door down here which I can't open, which I've just seen on the map. Enchanted stone. Are it mate? Oh, I can go in here. But I'm destroying this blob's things. Oh well there's a mini medal. I wonder if we can trade them for items. Ten mini medals, I've only got ten. Hello little slime, you are it? Do you want to hear something that's going to blow your mind? This hut is actually the holy home of a mini metal loving monarch. He comes to stay here whenever he wants to get in touch with how a mini metal feels, hidden away in the shadows. Rich people have such silly ideas, all the slime. Hmm. So that's where the fat guy probably comes down here, do you reckon? Good to know. Knowledge is power. Hey, it's quite grand, isn't it? L'Académie de Medales. Hello, small children. I've only just joined the school, so I don't really know what a mademoiselle is. A mademoiselle is a, a woman, because I'm awesome at French. Don't worry, I'm not a bad slime, I'm a goo slime. I'm practicing how to pick up many medals. Like, is this guy just raising, like, an army of metal picking fanatics. I think he is. Time to take over the world. There it is. Alright, man. Hello mister, my name's Chantel. Do you remember all the words to our school song? Yes, I know everything. Get ready to sing along. Here comes the official school song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I'm a professional at that. Don't stare at me. Believe the words you are searching for are Bonjour, Madame Le Bouche. Fermi le bouche. Donnez-moi un grand saucisson avec mon derrière. Right, so where do we want to go? We can rest there, we can save there, but there might be a quest over here. I think purple ones are quests and pink ones are information. Yes, I might. You must be the Voyager, Monsieur. Monsieur Medali told me of. I am Madame de Beauvoir, Vice Principal of the Academy. Perhaps you might be able to help me with some private matter. Okay. I was tidying the bookshelves in the Bibliothèque, the fucking library, the other day when I made a strange discovery. And amongst the old and dusty textbooks, I found a diary. I thought it was probably left behind by ex-student, a girl who had studied here. So I had a peep inside, but what I found there was curious and 
extremely curious, very strange indeed. Tell me, Voyager, will you help me get to the bottom of this little mystery? Yes, I will. Alright, I've got no idea what you actually want us to do, but... If you would search the garden in my stead, would be obliged. Yeah, I will bury my memories where the shadow of the birch tree sat. We dream beneath stretches and even light. All that I leave behind, leave to you, my dearest friend. Alright, so there's a birch tree in the gardens that we must search. Le jardin. Oh, hey, got some grub like? There's so much detail in this game, it's, it's quite impressive. Right, but enough of that, I need to find a save point. What's in here? Oh, that's his office. I didn't want to see him yet. Oh, fuck it. Let's just tattle him. It's quite the office you've got here, mate. Anything of value for me to steal? Nothing. Ah, there you are. Now, uh, you must allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Maxime Medaille. And this is my humble establishment, l'Académie de notre Maître des Médailles, a school in which miniature ladies bloom into beautiful, full-grown flowers. As part of the education, we encourage our pupils to journey through all the lands of Edrea and to gather the maximum number of mini medals they can find. Can I take part? I mean, I've got long hair, I look a bit like a girl. As they earn for medals, they immerse themselves in the cultures of the world and acquire at least a minimum of, uh, how you say, savoir faire. But every so often, a born medal hunter comes along. I sense this in you. I see the most maximally adroit medal detector of my career before me. However, there is one miniature problem. The academy is for young girls and young girls alone. Have you just sadly I cannot offer you a place here. Have you just assumed my gender? I find that's deeply offensive, mate. But does this mean I will allow such potential maximal to remain untapped? No! By the power vested in me, <laughs> I hereby enroll you as an honorary member of l'Académie de notre maître de Madaille! Right, so, now to the formalities first. Take this as an object of maximal importance. The album of medals. Okay. You used to keep track of how many mini medals a student collects during its time. For each and every mini medal that you bring to me, I'll add a minuscule stamp to its pages. The more stamps you collect, the more maximally magnificent your rewards will be. Now go, young man. Your quest to collect the maximum number of mini medals has officially begun. Right, well I won prizes, I've got 10. Stamp the album, baby. Nice! What the fuck is that? A shield bearer. A maximally magnificent prize indeed. Oosh! Oh, a weapon. Give us a weapon. Oh, we've got a hat. Your reward for collecting 10 stamps is a Hermes hat. A maximally magnificent prize indeed. So there must only be 20. And when I get 20, I get the maximum prize. Ooh, a rune staff. A 20. Okay. Let me have a look. 
at this. Oh shit. The charm goes up massively. I didn't even know what charm does. Helpful headwear that can be used to achieve the same effect as a chimera wing. Now what that does. Wind damage taken reduced by 20%. Oh well it is pretty good like. Although the overall defence goes down by not much really. Tell you what I'm going to wear that because I'm a beast. Um, we're going to give Jade. She's got the bunny here. She's happy with that. Rab. What the hell was I wearing? Steel helmet plus one. Is there a reason why he can't wear that? Maybe Slovando can? Oh, he can. So... His defence goes up, to be fair. Everything else drops, but he doesn't really need magical might. He doesn't need magical mending, really. And charm. Who cares? I wonder if charm affects the spells you can do that confuses your enemies? I'm not sure. Can she not wear that? Oh, she can't wear that. She can wear the Hermes hat. Right, I'm happy with that. Awesome. What was that other item we got? Item bag. Shield bearer. A clairvoyant's card imbued with the power to increase defence. Ah, so that's an item. Sweet, simple, good luck charm. Eh, uh, he's gonna wear that strength ring. Yeah, I definitely want strength with him. Jade, she can have the shield bearer. Boosh. Happy days, mate. So that's all well and good, but I led here for for item. Right, so he's only ever going to talk to us about mini medals. We need to find more information about this school. We need to find the orb. You there. He was never ever set foot in the eerie eerie. The entire path of the Easter Strip entered it. It's forbidden to go there. It's ruled over by a cruel and covet covetous asylum bird. If ever that feathered fiend sees anything shiny, that's it. It seizes it in its talons and takes it onto its nest. Right, we've got to go and kill that bird and snatch it. I bet it's got the orb. Okay. Oh, there's... Well, there's the library up north. We'll go to the library first and then we'll go there because there's a side quest in this library. Oh, and steal loads of books. Anything good? Nah, a load of shit. Ooh, recipe book, fine and dandy design. Smart suits, waistcoats, and bling bling belts. I want a bling bling belt, mate. Nothing to say here. Jackpot. Next level netway. Stars of Clarity, Necklace of Immunity, and Full Moon Colours. Right, these... Oh, we've got a load more stuff. Yeah, some of this could be amazing. Perfect picnics.
we're getting well kitted up here. Blah 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 blah. I'm only interested in books that give a shit. I'm just <laughs> that girl was looking at the book. I walked straight up in front of her and pinched it. That is hilarious. I am much larger than you, small child, so I am therefore more important. I'm the biggest book woman in the academy. I've read every single volume in this library from cover to cover. Blah blah blah. Glitters is soon gone. Oh, well, that's fantastic, isn't it? What the hell? I'm Conchella and I'm a shell slime. If anyone asks you what's got a foot but no legs, the answer is me. Okay. Finishing touches to my most mind bending brain straining riddles yet. As soon as they're ready, I'll challenge you to a royal riddle bonanza. Well, I accept the challenge. Let's save the game. Mademoiselle, I wish to save the game. Okay then. Right, what I want to do is I want to... Oh, let's, let's explore upstairs. And then we're going to go outside and see if we can find this birch tree. And dig up the treasure. Here's the guy. He, does he just wander the halls with the biggest hammer you've ever seen? Harry bro, what's up? I'm Bash Tien, editor-in-chief. Right, I didn't care about your newsletter. Sounds like a load of shit. The hell? Where are you going? I'm training to be like my idol. Oh, okay. Continue. Last side quest in here. Oh, it's fucking lips. Hello there, my name is Priscilla, and I have a problem, a secret anguish that I can't tell any of my classmates. If I share my deepest, darkest secret with you, you promise not to tell anyone. Well, you've only just met us, and it's not the wisest thing to share secrets with strangers, but I will happily oblige. Okay then. Now, have you heard of Le Mini Mond? It's our school newsletter, I've just heard of it, yeah? Madame Cherie was starting a new column offering advice to the lovelorn, so I wrote a letter to her to ask her about my secret passion. But I'm too afraid to read her answer. What if she says she'll never be mine? My heart would break clean in two. That's why I need someone to read it for me. But I can't ask any of my classmates. Okay. Could you go and read this month's issue of Le Mini Mon for me and see what Madame Cherie says I should do? You find it pinned up on the notice board in the gallery overlooking the yeah, 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 I know where it is. Right, okay then. We're just down here, aren't it? What's over there? Le Mini Monde. Donne moi un nouveau brouillon. Ah, oh, I thought it was here. Wait, I don't know where it is. Oh, there's a cupboard to read. Oh, we've already got a bling bling belt. Bling bling! It drops me attack slightly, but it increases everything else. That's so much better. I'm gonna have to wear it. It's called a bling bling belt. Sorry, um, what was that girl called? Sorry, Gemma, but you've been relegated. Whatever did happen to Gemma? We've never found out yet, have we? 
Gemma, my one true love, childhood sweetheart. I love to hate you. Gotta be something good in here. Hey, hey, one mini medal. Four more to go before we get a present. Right, we need to go to the outside grounds. I don't know where this newsletter is. Is it on one of these boards? Got to be. Hmm. Oh, I ain't got a fucking clue, mate. Right, big tree, big tree, big tree. Try asking Bastien if you're not quite sure where to find it. Oh, well, I could have spoke to Bastien. I don't know where she, she or he is. Go and investigate the part of the school grounds mentioned on its pages. Oh, man, that fucking dusty diary. That dusty diary was in the bloody library. I remember seeing it, but... I Fucking didn't read it, did I? I'm an idiot. Right, we'll get that now. Dusty Diary. I'm sure it was a... Shit. I'm sure it was in... Was it that one there? No, that's Jackpot. Not that. Not that. Um. It's probably going to be the last one we'll pick up in it. It's just going to be one of them things. Was it not the one she was looking at? Nope. I need the bloody letter. Previous student register. Hmm. Where the hell? What the fuck? Fucking banging, I don't know what the banging is. Hmm. Right, I can't find it. This one? What's going on here? Right. Um, I'm sure I've looked at every book in here and I just can't. Right, we're going to leave that. So what I'm going to do, I want to save the game and then we'll come back. And I think we'll get on with the main quest. We're going to go and visit. There, the map. How do you zoom out? Yeah, we'll figure it out later. I know where I'm going. I'm going outside. keep forgetting, I could have went and saw um, that bloody basher. Sorry, I'm just distracted by the absolute banging that's going on next door. I don't know what they're doing, they're fucking idiots. 
Right, wait there. Let's go and speak to this pink guy upstairs. Right, Lemony Mond, not that you'd know from the big blank space on the notice board, I just finished tackling up this month's issue when it got caught, caught, caught by the breeze and blew out of the window. And to top it all off, it was an all new format. Uh, you'll just have to hunt, hunt, hunt down the one and only copy. It blew away in the direction of the eerie area, okay. So that's where we're headed. We're headed to the eerie eyrie anyways because that's where the bird lives and I bet you that bird's got the shiny orb that we need. Okay, let's get the flock out of here. Where's the exit? This way. The eerie eyrie. Right, we're going to head straight to the eerie eyrie in the next episode. See you there lads.